hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel i am back today with another video this time is what i would like to call the last beauty hoorah of the year so it's like the items i picked up from cyber monday black friday little sales that they have been having for end of the year beauty items i wanted to pick up and check off my wish list for this year and dare I say, I am done buying beauty items in 2023. So if you're interested in seeing the items I picked up, please keep on watching. Okay, fair warning. This is kind of perfume heavy um, haul. Not a whole lot of makeup, but I do have a few fragrances I picked up. And fair warning, I am not the best at describing perfumes, but we're going to give it a go. The first perfume I have here is the new one from beyonce it is the uh say noir perfume sorry if it is reflecting off of the light she released this um while she was on the renaissance tour and they shipped mid-november and i got mine a couple weeks ago and so far i really like it if i were to describe it i would really really butcher it but it is a very nice what i would call like it is very unique. <laughs> it is a very unique scent. Like, I would say I really don't have anything like it, but a lot of people do compare it to the um, Fenty fragrance. And initially when I smelled it, like, they don't, to me, really, like, smell the same. But there are those kind of scents that either you, like, really, really like it or you really, really will not like it. They do have kind of that similar note. Like, this one has Clementine. I think Fenty has the tangerine and it's so funny because i went see the renaissance film with my brother and i wore this of course and my brother was like oh it smells really nice but it smells like something you have so maybe i'm just not smelling it but a lot of people does a lot of people do say it smells like the fancy fragrance so there's that and i like how she included like a little um it was like outside of the box is like a little tester Ooh, don't throw it around a little tester sample fragrance you can also kind of put in your purse but i don't see how you could like if you wanted to keep this indefinitely for travel i don't see how you could actually like refill this i know a lot of people will put these in scents to smell it before you actually open the bottle i'm not sure if she had that going on to where you could actually if you didn't like this you could return it not sure because you cannot go smell that in stores anywhere as of now so take that with a grain of salt the next scent this has been on my wish list for quite some time now and i am so mad they released the trio with this one nolila and um greenwich village and those are like my three favorite scents and but i had already had the other two and i just needed this one and so i was able to find this on sale during black friday um, I think Saks has sent me a 20% off of uh, fragrances during that time. So I picked it up then. And this is the Bond Number no. 9 Tribeca. This is the perfect, like, fall and winter perfume. It's definitely unisex. I feel like most Bond scents are very unisex. And this one is so so good if you're ever by a bond counter please go check it out but it just it just screams fall to me like it has no I feel like vanilla i don't know again i am not gonna describe this but this is this is a very very nice scent if you're in the market for like a new fall and winter scent i highly recommend checking that one out my next black friday pick up this perfume has been on my list. I picked it from Neiman's. Have been on my list like all year, but I can never find it on sale. Neiman's doesn't really run a lot of sales on it. Neiman's is like a Neiman's exclusive. They don't have it at, at Saks. Uh, it is the Mind Games. And it is a French word. Jadoub, I think that might be how they pronounce it. But it did, I have nothing like this in my collection. And I have a lot of fragrances as you can see and this one oh gosh i thought i did good by opening the package but i'm gonna have to leave the notes to these downstairs i'll leave a link to it downstairs <laughs> uh i'm gonna have to leave a link in the description box down below so you can kind of get a whiff of it but it is a very nice luxurious 
it matches the price of uh, scent. And I have gotten samples of it. I've worn it. It lasts all day. So the theme of this uh, fragrance house, all the bottles kind of look like chess pieces. I want to say this one is the queen. That's probably why I like it so much. I feel like that's, is that the queen? I could totally be wrong. I haven't played chess since like the fifth grade. But yes. Um, let me see. highly recommend checking this one out this is so good it is very feminine i think it has like fruity notes in it this bottle is it's like has some weight to it. it is worth the price but i was able to get it on like a hundred dollars off for black friday so i was like probably won't get any better than this so i went ahead and picked it up and that was that um do i have another i do have more fragrances uh we're gonna skip to so uh this is from one size they had a black friday sale and i decided to just go ahead and pick up another uh on till dawn mattifying uh setting spray just because i love this stuff and i don't want to find myself in a predicament where i cannot get it so that's just another backup to have and i wanted to try the um ultimate setting powder in the honey shade like the little vanilla one i have the uh pink one and i really like it so i decided to get this one and it doesn't come at a better time because i literally spilled my entire jar my clumsy self of my uh laura mercier setting power powder so upset with myself but now i have this to try so i'm gonna see how i like it because i used the laura mercier honey one so i got that one and my best friend was using it and she said she really liked it so we're gonna give that shade a go too so this is a tiktok influence person i have never heard of this brand i saw uh, one of the tiktok makeup influencers talk about it. it is called wild beauty they too had a black friday cyber monday sale and she kind of showcased their lip glosses and ooh, this is a mess. the box is you know falling apart here bear with me let me see. oh gosh you know they're a very small company I, i'm not sure what happened with this box but they she talked about their lip glosses like some of her favorite lip gloss formula and they are called the high shine nourishing glosses and it, this set comes with five shades um, this one is Brazil. It's like a milky pink gloss. It does have some very fine micro shimmers in it. This one is Columbia. Another pink one. I don't see any shimmers in that one. This one is Peru. Like those medium pink, almost bubblegum shade. And this one is Mexico. And it is a gorgeous nude brown light brown nude with uh it does have micro shimmers in it and then this one is called argentina and it's like a chocolate milk looking uh nude lip gloss cannot wait to try those she she sold me on those so i picked those up i wanted to get some skincare backups right now during the sale because i skipped getting all skincare backups during the vib sale and i was kind of like hmm April is kind of far away and these products are dwindling down. So I took this time to get like some of my skincare backups because April is a ways of way. And I don't want to be using like, I don't want to have to pay full price and then I don't want to be using like any old things. So Glow Recipe had 20% off what site wide. And so what I really wanted to get was The one thing else no here it goes oh, I'm about to. um so i ordered from glow recipe on like black friday and um like that customer service i don't know if they were just overwhelmed with sales but i will say it was not a 10 out of 10 like emails were slow to respond i did not immediately get like my um 
order confirmation then it's taking a while to ship so i go look up my order on the website saying order not found i emailed them then i went check the twitter because you know twitter is gonna always tell the business child and i was reading like the their mentions and a lot of people's having issues with orders so i just want to put that out there it was not smooth selling with them and again i don't know if that's like that all the time because i normally just get my glow recipe stuff from sephora but they were the ones having the sale and it was a better deal that way because they had like 12 percent ebay's two of these products in here i got four free so the first thing i have here is a watermelon nice into my dew drops this is so gorgeous under makeup like so gorgeous under makeup and i got the small one in like a travel set i had got uh when i was going on vacation so i decided to get the full size um this is a little sample of the watermelon go pink dream body cream oh i can't see what wait to see what that looks like if it smells good i'm probably gonna buy it um that's all it takes and so the next thing i picked up was the avocado ceramide recovery serum love a good serum i haven't tried this from them so i wanted to give it a go um i love ceramides like my moisturizer has ceramide in it and it just leaves your skin so soft and supple love it so much um the next thing i have here is the pomegranate peptide firming serum so wait, so this is one of the free items, like, let me see, make sure, no, no, I did pick this one up. This was not a free item, I did pick this up. Um, just another serum to try, because this would have taken me to like the next level. They know what they're doing, you spend this much, then you get like the two free items, and I was like, well, it's kind of worth it, because basically, if you get this, you can get the next one free. You kind of got this one for free too, girl mouth. <laughs> so this is the pomegranate peptide firming serum um is firm and lift the appearance of skin while deeply hydrating with this clinically effective serum so it helps to prevent the look of fine lines and wrinkles girls getting older so i got that and the next thing i have here is the watermelon glow hyaluronic clay pore type facial i haven't been using like masks like i used to so i wanted to get back into that just like self-care so i got this one um for a pore tightening facial and so this was the free item um the glow recipe guava vitamin c bright eye gel cream and i don't really use eye creams but since it was free we're gonna see what it's like and then if i do like it then we're looking to get it and then i was so excited because this is was one of the free items and if you have been following me for a minute you know how much i love this stuff like it's featured in practically every other haul damn near because my husband be running through my stuff but it's the glow recipe blueberry bounce gentle cleanser my favorite like gentle face wash hands down like you know your face is clean with this and i love how it smells because it reminds me of like that muppet baby soap my mom used to use on me when i was a kid and so sephora and alta each did like 20 percent off this month like sephora ran it back and that's like a t like i don't know if they're gonna keep doing it but you know like the vib still is like 20 if you only rouge and then 15 and 10 so on and so forth whatever but this go round everybody gets 20 percent off so if you are not a rouge i would recommend waiting until the december sale that's if they keep doing it because you know sephora they'll switch it up in a minute but for now so I only got a few items because, again, I went ham for the VIB sale. So I got backups. Um, so this is a Glossier Super Pure Niacinamide and Zinc Serum. I use this every single day. I have noticed a difference in like the, my T-zone and my pores, how my makeup wears. This is now a staple in my collection and my bottle. Probably will not last me until April. I probably only have a couple weeks left. And then again, my moisturizer, I'm starting to scrape the bottom of it. I think I got the one I'm using now in April for the VIB sale. So 
we'll see. I don't know if it's gonna last until the next April. So I got the Pharmacy Honey Halo. Talked about this a couple times on the channel. I love it so much. And my favorite thing about it is the packaging that I cannot get into at this present time. Oh, here we go. It's because it has the uh, spatula on top. So you never have to put your finger in it. Love that so much. Cause I guess it's kind of thick. Maybe it wouldn't be like the best moisturizer to use with a pump. So I kind of get it. Um, but I use it every single day, like for work, because I don't wear any makeup during the week. And I don't I haven't worn it on top of makeup, so I cannot attest to that. But I work in like cold environment and it keeps my face hydrated, moisturized all day long. And last but certainly not least from Sephora this go round, I picked up a fragrance i did not get any fragrances during the vip sale but i got this one and this is the new kayali sparkling eden sparkling lychee and this is a very fruity fragrance see she put the notes on the bottle she helps girls like me so it has black currant sparkling lychee rose damascena oh lord candied violet sugared amber and sandalwood so the sandalwood i kind of feel like rounds it all about without smelling like pure candy but this smells delicious like it's super sweet but it's not like 12 year old sweet like i really really like this and yes once like it is a beautiful like if you do not like sweet at all then I would say kind of steer clear for me because it's not like again like a juvenile suite to me like i feel like adults can definitely wear this but if you're someone who kind of just that gourmand side of you is more on like the vanillas and caramels and all those kind of things then this might not be the one for you more so that would be um i can't think of the name of it the one in a purple bottle i love that one so much but it's definitely this one is way more sweeter, but I really like this. Um, and Alta. So a couple weeks ago, they did the, if you spend $100, you get $20 off. So in my mind, that was the 20% off sale. Not knowing that we was going to actually do 20% off. So this is what I got from there. And then I went, it's not the remote. Then I went, actually, uh, this is an online order I placed. So during this time, MAC was 20% off. So I just went ahead and got a backup of my new favorite foundation. That's not really a foundation. I talked about it in the last video, or one of those videos. Um, it's a MAC Studio Fix everywhere, um, all over face pen. I love this, but it does not come with a lot. So it was 20% off up. Plus, with the extra 20% off, so I went ahead and got a backup because that one, my first one only lasts me through the summer. And then I picked up, this is from the Holiday Collection, a MAC Sparkler Eyeshadow in the gold, shade Gold Crush. This is so pretty, guys. Like, uh, eyeshadow topper, just a place, like, if you want to, like, glow a razzle-dazzle on the lid, this is your girl. Kind of reminiscent of uh, Urban Decay's, like, Space Cowboy, or whatever it's called. Another skincare backup, holy grail item. They always used to put this on like the 21 days of beauty or the skincare one, 50% off. They did not do that this year because I normally have backups upon backups of this stuff and I do not have one. And my current bottle just has a little bit left, but this is the Cos RX Advanced Nail Mutant Power Essence. I use this morning, noon and night. <laughs> um cannot open this but we know what the bottle looks like this stuff heaven sent i love it so much it just improves the look of your skin so much and this is the elf glow reviver lip oil and i got it in the shade honey talks this is the brown one i heard good things about this see just like my spray that hood on my hand Ugh, heavenly um so yes this is what it looks like a little bit on so you can see how it applies i do not again this is like the first makeup item no i got those other lip glosses like this is the first makeup item we've talked about but yes oh 
that's really pretty definitely not sticky it does have if you don't like mint because i don't like mint but if you don't like mint that much i wouldn't get these because it has a very heavy mint scent and last but not least i got a um eyeshadow palette this is the morphe holiday tease the season did i do this like, I'm not starting to lose it. Like, I feel like I didn't haul this, but, like, did I? I don't know. Um, This is their Holiday Eyeshadow Palette. I have used this a couple of times. It's very nice, especially when I do, like, night out looks. Yes. Like, I went out. I wore this eyeshadow palette. It was very nice. Highly recommend that one. And last but certainly not least, I know I did not haul this because I went to Ulta yesterday. And this is what I spent my actual 20% off coupon. Again, not a lot of makeup in here at all. First things first is the Dolce and Gabbana Devotion Eau de Perfume. I really, really like this. I have not been buying a whole lot of like designer scents. But this smells really good. It's a very nice vanilla scent. I smelled it when I went to Sephora. And I was like, oh, I really like this. But I decided to pick up from Ulta. Yes. This is a like very vanilla scent. It says, oh, candy, citrus, orange blossom, vanilla. Right up my alley because I really like sweet scents. Love fruit. So orange blossom and vanilla. Yes. This is divine devotion divine yes very nice and if i run through that like i don't need any full-size bottles so when they have a travel size i try to get the travel size unless i really really like it and so i got the travel size of that one so this is mainly like hair care stuff just you know want to give my hair some tlc so i got the Bri briogeo don't despair repair deep conditioning mask i heard great things about this cannot wait to use that and then i also got the don't despair repair strengthening treatment oil the girls have been talking bad about the meal oil so i was like hmm, maybe i need to stop using that and give me another one so i picked up this one. Oh, it has a nice little flower in it bougie that's cute let's see what it smells like I don't smell anything through the bottle right now. And I definitely don't want to make a mess on my hands. All right. And I got another hair oil. This is the Everyday uh, Gloss Hair from Bread Hair Oil Everyday Gloss. I heard this is like lip gloss. Yeah, that's what it literally says. Like lip gloss, but for your hair. And I was intrigued. And I heard it's the best thing about this is the smell. Oh, yeah. This smells amazing. It smells like gummy bears. This, and that's what they said it smells like. And it really does. So, I got this. I wanted to get the conditioner from them. But it came in a bag. And I just... I don't know. I wasn't feeling it in the bag. So, I skipped it. I got some camera products. I love camera uh, hair uh, products for my extensions. So, this is the anti-humidity spray a frizz control spray it is still very humid here in the south even though it's supposed to be winter or almost winter so i got that this is the silkening mist like a shine spray and then the last thing i got here is a working spray flexible hold hairspray which worked out well because it appears that i have left my sebastian shaper spray in vegas and then the last thing I got here is from Juvia's Place. And this looks so cute on the model on the little picture. It is the volumizing gloss stick. And it's so tiny, but I got it in the color True Nude. And they kind of look like those new things MAC had came out with. Like the little, um, kind of like a gloss in a stick form with some pigment. And let's see. Yeah, let apply. I got it. Oh. Mm. Yeah, definitely don't screw up too much. But yes, very 
hydrating and like comfortable to apply on the lips and also very pretty so yes the last beauty items i am picking up this year in 2023 thank you so much for tuning in let me know about your end of the year beauty purchases or have you have your eye do you have your eyes on anything like for early next year thank you and i will catch you guys in my next video bye guys